The plea deal for President Biden's son, Hunter Biden, fell apart during a controversial court hearing yesterday. He was expected to plead guilty to two charges of failure to pay taxes. But that fell apart after U.S. District Judge Mary Ellen Norica raised questions about the terms. Republicans argued the president's son received preferential treatment. The White House isn't saying much about the matter. This case was handled independently, as all of you know by the Justice Department under the leadership of a prosecutor appointed by the former president, President Trump. There shouldn't be two justice systems in America, and hopefully today that's what's being done. President Biden has repeatedly denied he spoke to his son about his business dealings.